Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like to show you how you can easily uh, manage uh, or hide your team site navigation. So first of all, let me show you what I mean. So uh, as you know, probably already uh, in SharePoint, we have two types of sites. We either have a team site, which is what you see right now on the screen, uh, or you have a communication site, all right, which is essentially uh, just a standalone site, and then those sites you have the navigation appear, it appears on top. All right, you can either hide it, all right, uh, altogether, or just leave it where it is. Uh, there is not much you can do here. Uh, but uh, on a team site, up until recently, this is actually a relatively new feature that we now have. Up until recently, you couldn't really do much about this navigation on a team site. It was always kind of stuck on the left hand side. But well, now we have a few options. Let me show you. So if you click on the gear icon, change the look, navigation. So a couple of things. Uh, first of all, you can actually change it to horizontal style. And what will happen, it actually uh, makes it, uh, uh, you know, look like it's on the communication site. It's going to be on top, all right? Uh, or another option, you can actually hide it altogether, all right? Once again, up until recently, we couldn't do it. Now we can, all right? So, and it just hides it all, to, all, all together and you get a little bit more real estate on your screen. Now, uh, even though it's possible to hide it, I don't recommend uh, hiding it uh, altogether. And let me explain to you why. Uh, because uh, on a team site, right, the team sites are really collaboration type of sites. They are connected to teams. I mean, this is where your employees collaborate and add added delete documents. And quite often they need to go to the recycle bin, right? So if you hide the left-hand side navigation, the recycle bin link will be gone, right? Now users can, in case if you do decide to hide the navigation, you can still access the recycle bin, but the users will need to navigate to gear icon, site contents, and essentially, you know, click on the recycle bin from here and, uh, you know, restore it that way. But, um, uh, you know, obviously it's very convenient uh, if you uh, if you don't hide it because uh, it's just right here and users can access it within one click from any library, they just click on the recycle bin and, and it's there, right? So um, I don't recommend that you really hide the navigation on the team site, maybe move it to the top if necessary, uh, but at least now you can do this, something we were not able to do up until recently. All right, so that's all I wanted to share in today's uh, video. Hopefully you learned something new. As always, happy to see you on my blog sharepointmaven.com as well as my YouTube channel. Thank you very much and have a great rest of the day. Goodbye.